how did the Portland Metro real estate market do with rates above 7.5 this week? Some of the numbers could have been better. Others were all right. Let's jump into the most recent market stats. First up, let's talk about sale prices. The average and median sale prices were down a significant 5% from the previous week. Compared to last year at this time, the average sale price was down 4.5%. Remember, these numbers reflect more of what was happening in our market three to six weeks ago when those homes that just sold first went under purchase agreements. Rates were climbing back then and they got locked at those lower rates for those clients but they just weren't as high as they are now. Is this a new trend? Mm, probably not, or at least not yet. We only have one data point in this range and this number looks like an anomaly for now. We'll see what happens next week. The supply of homes available for buyers to purchase rose by 1%. That's normal, but for the first time since this spring, the number of homes available for purchase is higher than we had last year at this time. Last week is the first time the numbers have reversed since they first did in the spring of this year. On the demand side, the number of purchase agreements was down 11% compared to the previous week's surprise high. We ended up with 487 transactions, the lowest number we've seen in months. But that number still isn't as bad as I expected. Remember, we're also getting into the season, albeit a little earlier than usual, when many people just hunker down out of the rain and wind and they don't buy houses. We ended last week with rates for the 30-year fixed mortgage at 7.625%, which was the best case scenario we saw. Most lenders were at 8%, if not more. I expected far fewer new transactions because of the high rates. 487 just means we're down to those buyers and sellers who need to transact right now. Plus, those first-time home buyers we talked about last week, folks who were sidelined by those recent frenzy unicorn markets of the past few years, they're seeing an opportunity they haven't seen for several years and may have been advised to refi in a couple of years. Mortgage rates receded a touch earlier this week, dropping from 7 0.625% to 7.37%. Again, these numbers are best case scenario for the 30-year fixed conventional loan. However, rates might be inching back up. Dot, dot, dot. There was no real change in the number of bank-owned and pre-foreclosure homes on the market. Thank goodness. The number of bank-owned properties dropped by two or three the number of pre-foreclosure homes for sale as short sales stayed the same. Last week, we saw a slight uptick in the number of notices of default, the first step in the foreclosure process. Well, those notices of default are back down to the very low numbers we've seen since the start of the year. Watch for our update next week for all the latest stats and trends Thank you so much for watching to the end of the report. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with someone who might need some real estate insight. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.